ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕಿಕೇಸರಿ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರ್ಯವರ್ಯೋ ಮೇ ಸನ್ನಿಧತ್ತ ಸದಾಹೃದಿ ಜ್ಞಾನಂದಮಯಂ ದೇವಂ ನಿರ್ಮಲಸ್ಫಟಿಕಾಕೃತಿ ಆಧಾರಂ ಸರ್ವಿದ್ಯಾಮಯಗ್ರೀವಮುಪಾಸ್ಮಹೆ ವಂದೇ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಹಯಗ್ರೀವಂ ಪುರೋ ಮೇ ಮಾರ್ಗದರ್ಶಕ ಯೇನಾಪಕ್ವಮತಿರ್ನೂನ ಕಿಂಚಿದ್ಭೂತ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಅಚ್ಯುತ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯನ್ ಮಾಂ ಚ್ಯುತ ಮುಕುಂದ ಮೇ ಗುರು ಅರಕ್ಷತನುಕಂಪಾತೆ ಪದಮನುಸರಾಮ್ಯಹಂ ಪದ್ಮನಾಭ ಗುರು ವಂದೇ ಸದಾಚಾರ್ಯಂ ಅಹಂ ಸದಾ ಕುಲೀನ ಧೀಶುಶೀಲಾದಿ ವಿಗ್ರಹಂ ಶುದ್ಧ ವೇದಿಕ ವೇದಾಂತಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಮುನೀಂದ್ರಕೃಪಾತ್ತಬೋಧಂ ದತ್ಪಾದಯುಗ್ಮ ಸರಸೀರಹಭೃಂಗರಾಜ ತ್ರಯ್ಯಂತಯುಗ್ಮಕೃತಭೂರಿ ಪರಿಶ್ರಮಂ ತಂ ಶ್ರೀರಂಗಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಮುನಿ ಶರಣ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯೆ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ವೇದಾಂತರಾಮಾನುಜಯತಿ ಕೃಪಾ ರಂಗಿಣಿ ನ್ಯಸ್ತಭಾರಂ ತತ್ಸಂಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಗಮಾನ್ ತದ್ವತೆಯ ಮನುಗನ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠತಾ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಗ್ರಿಯ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಶ್ರೀರಂಗರಾಮಾನುಜ ಮುನಿ ಕರುಣಾಲಬ್ಧಮೋಕ್ಷಾಶ್ರಮಂ ತಂ ಸತ್ಪಸ್ತ ಶ್ರೀವರಾಹಂ ಯತಿವರ ಮನಘಂ ದೇಶಿಕ ಸಂಶ್ರಯಾಮಿ ನಮಸ್ಸಭಾಯಿ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದ ಲೆಸನರ್ಸ್ ಅಡಿಯನ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ್ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥನ್ ಆಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಕಮ್ಯಾಂಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಶ್ರೀ ವೀರವಲ್ಲಿ ರಘುನಾಥನ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಟು ರೆಂಡರ್ ಆ್ಯನ್ ಉಪನ್ಯಾಸಂ ಇನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಆನ್ ಶ್ರೀನ್ಯಾಸ ದಶಕಂ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಕಂಪೋಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕಿಕ ಸಿಂಹ ಶ್ರೀ ವೇದಾಂತ ದೇಶಿಕ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಫೋರ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ವೈಷ್ಣವ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಡೀಡ್ ದಿ ಕೃಪೈ ಆಫ್ ವೇದಾಂತ ದೇಶಿಕ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಂಪ್ಟೆಡ್ ರಘುನಾಥನ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಎ ಕೈಂಕರಿಯ ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಡೆಡಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೈಂಕರಿಯ ಡೆಸ್ಪೈಟ್ several hardships that this Swami has chosen Adiyan to render this Upanyasam in English. That too, this coincides with this year's Margai Masa, month of Margai. We all know about the greatness of Margai Masa, Marga Shirsha. Andal's Thirupavi comes to a mind first whenever the word even Margai is uttered. So such is the greatness of Thirupavi and Margai. Now, the task that has been given to Arianus to render a short Upanyasam series on Nyasa Dashakam. There are 10 verses on the Upanyasam. in the stotra in the stuti adian intends to talk about each verse let us say for 15 20 minutes but it all depends on the anugraham of our acharyas i mean the duration of each upanyasam swami deshika needs no introduction that too from a person like adian He is so great, Adyan is so mean. He is Vishwa Prasiddha. He is known throughout the world. His compositions are many, so many. Almost in each field we can say. Apart from poetry, he was a logician and he has also proved his talent in even other Laukika skills, Laukika area of activities. This work is called as Nyasa Dashaka. There are two words as we see Nyasa and Dashaka. A Dashaka on Nyasa. We can say like this. A Dashaka on Nyasa. But what is a Dashaka? Dasha. Dasha means 10. Dashaka means that which has 10. So this work is basically a stuti that has 10 verses on the topic nyasa now what is nyasa 
ನ್ಯಾಸ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಭರನ್ಯಾಸ ಪ್ರಪತ್ತಿ ಶರಣಾಗತಿ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಭರನ್ಯಾಸ ಪ್ರಪತ್ತಿ ಶರಣಾಗತಿ ಟ್ವಿ ಕೀಪ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯಸ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ದಿ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರಪತ್ತಿ ಶರಣಾಗತಿ ಭರನ್ಯಾಸ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪ್ರಪನ್ನಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರಪನ್ನ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಪತ್ತಿ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರಪನ್ನ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರಪತ್ತಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸರೆಂಡರಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಅಡಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಇಸ್ ನಡಿಕ್ವೇಟ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಲಿ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ದಿ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ಪರ್ಹ್ಯಾಪ್ಸ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಆಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ಅಡಿಕ್ವೇಟ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಟು ಟು ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಟ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಕಂಫರ್ಟಬ್ಲಿ ಪುಟ್ ಡೌನ್ all the essential aspects of works in samskrita so audience english is also not good so that may add to the problems but let me resort to or perform sharnagati or nyasa to the uh, to our acharyas feet divine feet so this is a stuti that has 10 verses padyam in samskrita padyam means a verse on the topic nyasa nyasa means bharanyasa sharanagati what is sharanagati surrendering that surrender could be to anything could be to even what we call as achetana vastu we can surrender to our mind also hey mind i surrender unto you don't trouble me like this while in general surrendering can be done to anybody but here in this context we are talking about sharanagati or nyasa as a means to attain liberation what is liberation liberation means moksha what is moksha moksha means getting freed from this body don't we get freed from this body after we die that is a temporary freedom so to say because we are still bound to the elements of prakriti the vishishta advaita vedanta can be summed up like this we as an adiyan the speaker the listeners and all the other forms of life are all a combination of chetana and achetana elements the chetana element is called as atma and the achetana element is called as the sharira the sharira is made from the from the nature that we see around atma is opposed to the nature of the nature atma is a luminous object it has jnana it is made of jnana it also has jnana as an as an attribute now such an atma should not have got in touch with the prakriti but due to some reasons because of its own let us say the the nature to acquire ajnana we don't know for what reason when somehow this atma has come into contact with ajnana that in the sampradaya we say bhagavan nigraham somehow we got contact with the first sharira with that we perform some actions which were not in the best of interest to get freed from the body but rather than we have done some we must have done some activities which have led us into let us say a deeper trouble that is getting more and more bodies on a continuous basis so freedom from the body that is what is called as moksha but what happens after we get freed from the body where we go so that we need to understand the atma is actually a dasa bhuta a subservient entity to paramatma the paramatma though he is everywhere in this world yet he has a place for himself which is called as shri vaikuntha the atma after securing liberation and moksha it travels to that divine world to perform what we call as kainkaryam to paramatma his divine consort 
and also to the Nitya Suris who are eternally liberated Atmas enjoying in the Brahman bliss or the Paramatma happiness Paramananda by performing various Kainkaryams. So the Jeevatmas who get liberated they also get an opportunity or get the opportunity to travel across to Sri Vaikuntha. But how do we cross over from this Prakriti or the land of confinement to Sri Vaikuntha? So for that we should do some right action, right? We have been doing many wrong actions. I wouldn't say we have been doing only wrong actions, but we have been doing many wrong actions along with some perhaps good, good actions. And that is why we are born as a human being and that too blessed are those who are born in the Vaidika Parampara, especially so to say the Vishuddhat Veda Sampradaya or Sri Vaishnava Sampradaya, where everything is fixed. Whether we like or not, everything is fixed. What we should do, whom we should approach, Nacharya is there. So we don't have to really struggle like others. When I say others, there are so many people born elsewhere in the world who are also seekers. They don't know where to begin, whom to approach, how to how to rely on what people say. But for us, we, have, we must have done some good actions because of which we are born Sri Vaishnavas and we have the path before us put in very clear terms. Only thing is we need to keep aside our ahankara and then pay heed to what the Acharyas say because ahankara is a deterrent. So this Nyasa is also about giving up our Ahankara. So to cross over from the land of confinement to the land of eternal bliss, we need to perform the right action. What is the right action? It could be Bhakti Yoga or Prapatti Yoga. These two are the means or in technical terms, Upaya. The Shastras, they say that Bhagavan who actually gives moksha, who gives the liberation, he has to be pleased by either bhakti yoga, which is another means, as expounded in Srimad Bhagavad Gita by Bhagavan itself. The means called as bhakti yoga has been very elaborately taught in Srimad Bhagavad Gita by Lord Krishna himself. Prapatti has also been indicated in the Gita but it has been elaborated in the books of Agama, Sri Pancharatra Agama. Acharyas of our Guru Parampara have very nicely brought out the glory of Prapati from various texts, which are source texts, the Pramana, and have handed over to her as a path to salvation, the Prapati Marga. Bhakti Yoga is a very difficult upaya. That too, in this age of Kali. And Prapati is an Upaya which is liked by Bhagavan himself. He loves Prapannas more than Bhakti Yoga Nishthas. Bhakti Yoga Nishtha means who take up Bhakti Yoga. So a Jivatma, in order to perform Prapati, what he should have in himself? He should have something called as Mumukshutvam. Mumukshutvam means the desire to get liberated. There are many of us who are kind of fulfilled with the world, with the, with the life that we need, that we lead in this world. It could be very difficult. I mean, the life that we lead could be a very difficult one, but at the end of the day, yeah, most of us are not so much bothered about it. We take it as a matter of fact. Perhaps we resign to our fate and then say this is okay. A few blessed ones, they want to get freed from this mundane life. So they seek basically how to get liberated. So those are called as mamukshus. Those who have the desire to get liberated. So only if we have mumukshu, mumukshutva, mumukshutva means the desire to get liberated, the, the state of having a desire to get liberated. Mumukshutva means it's a quality basically, 
as in English we say goodness, fondness. We add this ness to the back of an adjective, wherein we get the quality that the person possesses. So mamukshutva should be there in order to take up the upaya. Then this prapatti, what does it? What does it do? It pleases Bhagavan. Bhagavan gets pleased. Bhagavan means here Mahavishnu who is also called as Sriman Narayana and by several other names. So Bhagavan Paramatma is, is an individual. Is, I mean when I say individual is a person who has got a wonderful Swarupa. Swarupa means essential nature. He has got several other gunas, qualities. He has got a Divya Mangala Vigraha. He has got a body which is Aparakrita. Aparakrita means unnatural or I mean beyond the nature what we see. Aparakrita means supernatural we can say. So this Bhagavan also possesses Vibhuti or wealth. What is his wealth? The Nitya Vibhuti which is called as Shri Vaikunta or the land of liberation where the liberated Atmas stay and where the bonded atmas the bound the atmas who are confined baddhas <coughs> they stay that is we is a land where we are born to perform several karma <coughs> and to be born again and again to reap the actions of those karma so these two are called as vibhutis leela vibhuti is where we are right now nitya vibhuti is where we are destined to go after we perform an upaya. So Bhagavan is Vibhuti Man. He possesses these two wealth. Such a Bhagavan, what he does is he is pleased with the upaya adopted by a Mamukshu and then grants liberation, which means that's a transfer. We can say like how in companies they transfer the employees. So we get transplanted from here to there with no condition to return. There will be no desire to return after going there. If somebody is going to ask if there is a desire to return also as Periyavar points out, there is no way that one can return after, after reaching Sri Vaikuntha. Now, there could be questions in younger minds as to how we can say for sure that while there are so many schools of thought which deal with the problem of existence and they also come out with an upaya to get liberated, how do we say for sure that ours is only the right path? Well, for this we need to we need to work hard to study, understand texts like Sri Bhashya, where Bhagavad Ramanuja has beautifully listed the faults in other systems of thought. And also proved how our Sampradaya comes or rather is according to the Brahmanas like Vedas, Smritis, etc. Until then, we need to believe the words of our Acharyas. Now, coming back to Swami Deshika's greatness, he is a Kavitarkika Simha and also he is a master of Nyaya. So this Acharya, we are very fortunate to have such an Acharya in a Sampradaya. He has taken up very big concepts and then elucidated them very nicely, very simply in Stotras. One such is Nyasa or Prapatti, the concept of Sharanagati. So he is a Kavi Tarkika Simha. Kavi Simha, Tarkika Simha. Simha means a lion among poets and Logicians, usually in the world we see logicians won't be able to appreciate beauty. They won't be, they, they, we, we can't really find a logician who is interested in poetry also. They'll be dry people usually. And those who are poets would be so emotional that they will not venture into logical thinking easily. But Swami Deshika was a lion among poet logicians, both 
among poets as well as among logicians because he is considered to be an avatar of Bhagavan himself or the divine bell. There are 10 verses in this Nyasa Dashakam as we said before. The verses deal with how to perform Prapati, what should be the mental attitude and there is something called as Sattvika Tyaga. Then what should we seek after performing Prapati from Lord, from Bhagavan. Then as we have this tendency to commit sins, so we should pray to Bhagavan to help us to get rid of our sins and sinful activities. Then we also, we should also request Bhagavan to bear with us. And uh, so all these aspects of Prapati, the five Angas, there are five Angas means five steps we can say uh, for, uh, uh, I mean when we, when we have to do Prapati, we should understand that there are five steps to Prapati. Angas means ancillaries. I mean just like how this body we have, head is the important uh, uh, part and then all these parts are like, they are also necessary. It doesn't mean that they are not necessary. But together it is called as a body. The same manner, the act of surrendering, performance of Prapati is called as the Angi which is the principle and then there are five angas to it which Swami is going to explain in the one of the verses. So we will see there. So there are five angas to Prapati which is called as Angi. So all these things are going to be explained in the verses. We will try to spend some time to understand each of the verse. If possible, Aryan will also outline the basics of Sanskritam but it all depends on the time. Uh, and then in our Sampradaya, we usually recite the last verse of another Sprithi called as Nyasa Vimshati. Nyasa Vimshati is a different uh, metrical composition. Nyasa Dashaka is, is an Anushtup. Anushtup means a shloka, which is uh, the shortest, uh, let us say, one of the shortest forms of poetry. Uh, the very verse, Sriman Venkata Natharya Kavitar Kikesati Vedan Tacharya Vajyomi Sanyadhattam Sadashudi is an Anushtuk meter, shloka. Nyasa Vimshati is in a bigger format. The last verse of Nyasa Vimshati, Samsara Vatta. So that one is usually recited along with the Nyasa Dashata. So if time permits, we will also see Nyasa Vimshati where we will cover the last verse of the Nyasa Vimshati also. With this introduction, Adiyan would like to end this uh, recording and then we will come back with the first verse of Sri Nyasa Dashaka. Aham Madrakshana Bharo Madrakshana Palamthatha Namama Shri Pate Revet Yatmanam Nikshipet Buddha. So goes the first verse. So Prapati is an upaya to attain moksha. Any mumukshu should not waste time, should immediately understand, try to understand from an acharya at least the basic tenets of our system, try to get some conviction and then resort to taking a prapatti. Should become a prapanna. Prapanna means one who has taken, taken a prapatti, one who has done prapatti. And then try to enjoy the rest of the life by studying various books, various granthas. Grantha means book in Sanskrit. Stotras, Nalayra Divya Prabandha, which is the the biggest gift that Embarman has given to Sri Vaishnavas, the Nalaya Divya Prabandha, Ayubars, those who composed the, the 4000 verses, were those who got ever immersed in the Kalyana Gunas of Embarman. So Sri Vaishnavas are very fortunate that we have so many uh, beautiful uh, books, or there is so much in uh, Sri Vaishnava literature to spend the rest of our lives. With this, we come to an end of the first recording, the introduction. Kavita Kika Samhaya Kalya Naguna Shalne Srimate Venkate Shaya Vedanta Gurave Namaha Asmat Guru Paramparaya Namaha